Dallas. I know where you are, Frisky. G'day you cheeky dogs, today we're going to be talking about the theory of what were Chili and Frisky doing at Mount Kutha when they were teenagers. Wowie! This is the lookout! Frisky and I used to come up here as teenagers to, um, think. Now a lot of people all over Facebook and Reddit have been speculating about this and leaving comments about what they think. The most common one of course is that like, what does think rhyme with? Let's get on it! But it turns out Joe Brum, the creator of Bluey, actually just gave an interview with the Gotta Be Done podcast, doing like a whole deep dive into the episode The Sign, and he quite literally said that it is a Simpsons reference. Um, such a great line from Chili in The Sign uh, today, uh, that Mount Kutha was where she and um, Frisky used to go for thinking. Uh, did that <laughs> have to go back and forth with the um, with the assessors a few times? <laughs> no, they, I got I got a bit of an easy ride on this. No, that was stolen from The Simpsons, though. I can confirm that. <laughs> now, this reference comes from The Simpsons season six, episode ten. I'll insert the clip of it here. Well, now I've got to go somewhere and do some serious thinking. <laughs> I'm sure he meant to say serious drinking. That's what I assumed. And this is just one of like the many Simpsons references that have happened in Bluey before. We've seen it like littered all throughout it, especially with the episode Bike. I'd like to get down now. I'd like to get down now. They came up in on the swimming dog wave. <laughs> I am the Lizard Queen. And Joe Brom even talks about in this interview about how The Simpsons were such like an integral part of like things that he wanted to reference in Bluey because he grew up watching it all the time because that's all he had to watch for a bit. Hey, why have I got stink lines coming off me? The fairies must think you stink. What? It's you. Oh, jeez. And you got the stink lines and everything. And they on Fox 8, they used to have Super Sunday Simpsons where they would just play Simpsons all day. So, you know, we would all be hungover and you'd just lie for five hours on a Sunday morning just watching back-to-back -back Simpsons for like the two years I lived at home. So it, it's hard to, I can't describe how many times I've seen the first six or seven seasons of The Simpsons. So I'm sure it worked its way in so that 20 years later, when at five in the morning when I had to come up with a game, Magic Xylophone just came out. I mean, what are we, to believe that this is some sort of a, a magic xylophone or something? Boy, I really hope somebody got fired for that blunder. I'd like that one, please. $400. Thank you. Enjoy your statue. $900 dues. Tobias! <laughs> right. Hey. 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 Bingo. I'm hungry. Uh. Stop. Uh. Stop. Definitely, if you get the chance, go and listen to the whole interview. It is amazing. It's an hour about the deep dive into the sign. Mary and Kate ask him a bunch of fantastic questions. I'll leave the link for it as well in the description box down below. But I want to know from you cheeky dogs, what did you think that Chili and Frisky were up to? Let me know in that comment section down below. And while you're there, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and bell for notifications so you know whenever I release any other Bluey videos. I do have so many other videos planned to come out. I'm going to be talking about Bob. I'm going to be talking about Stripe and Trixie. I will be doing Easter egg videos for the sign, as well as a bunch of other little details that maybe you might have missed. But until then, I have picked you cheeky dogs out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch, and I will see you all in another video. Mwah! Bye!